What is good, Foundation Nation, and welcome to Peaks View Park, where we're going to be playing the disc game. Doesn't make sense. I'll explain it in a second. <laughs> idea came from the comments. I was trying to find who it was from, but I couldn't find it. Hopefully I find it and I'll send to Connor a screenshot so you can see the comment down here somewhere. But basically what they said was to get, I think they suggested 10 discs. We're going to be using five discs, but it's basically going to be like the gun game from Call of Duty. If you've never played Call of Duty, basically what's going to happen is we're going to start off with our putter. This is our first disc. We have to play with only this disc until we birdie a hole, then it's gone. Then we move on to the next one, the next one, the next one, until the first one of us to get through all five discs, regardless of our score, so birdie with each disc wins the game. And now that play some sad music. <laughs> uh, so I picked Trevor's lineup, he picked my lineup. We have to go in this order that we picked. So I will be starting off with the Color Shift Banger GT. Got a soft X zone, literally the most accurate upshot disc in my bag, so that made a lot of sense. It's strategy, you'll see. Um, I have my old trusty Buzz. I never miss with this thing, so I don't know what he was thinking. <laughs> uh, I've got this soul, I've thrown it like three times. Strategy again. Um, I have the Marble Buzz. I actually don't really know what this does. I just keep it in my bag because I like how it looks. That's why I picked it. So um, that was a smart pick. Uh, I've got the Hannes Wasp. Uh, it looks cool, Pastry Dyes did it for me, but it is really stable. I don't throw it very much. Next up I have the heat. By the time I get to this disc it'll probably be like hole six or seven I would feel like. Um, and yeah it's gonna be tough. That's a smart smart choice. Big Z Raptor. Maybe the best fairway on the market. We actually have a lot in stock right now. You should check them out. And last but not least the Shasta Chris Hurricane which again is like the marble buzz. I've thrown it like three times. I don't really know what it does. I'm just now noticing how many discs are in my bag that I don't know what they do. <laughs> <laughs> my last disc is the Supreme Flight stamped Z Force. If you guys, if somebody in the comments can recognize every signal, every single signature on that disc, that was a tongue twister. I will personally Venmo you one dollar. Someone is not recognizing this one right here. That's what I'm saying. I will Venmo you one dollar. All right. Don't worry, money's no object. <laughs> Uh, let's jump over to hole one here. All right, one other rule that I forgot to say earlier is if you happen to ace a hole out here, you jump two discs. So you get to bypass the next one, move on to hole one out here is 250 feet, dead straight ahead with a slight bend to the right. Banger, banger. I'm willing to say if you ace any hole, I'll let you punch me in the face. <laughs> All right, that's on film, right? <laughs> oh, I cannot wait for this ace. Hole three, I am going, I'm acing that thing, and, I, and I'm just immediately turning around. <laughs> <laughs> the second touch of the chain, it's gonna be like Nate Robinson and Jake Paul. Counter skip, counter skip, do something. Well, I mean, I have no choice but to run it because pars don't matter. Going with the zone. I don't know if I should try and force the backhand or just rip the forehand. I think I'm gonna try to rip the forehand. It's a pump though. This could be very foolish. It's gonna be rip. Put a good move on it. Get through that tree. Aw. Oh. There it goes, out of bounds. Are we playing that OB? Only the road's OB. Oh, okay. So I get to run a forehand. Not good. We're going zone again just gonna try and throw a little high as a run if this one goes in hunter said i could stomp on his leg tears his acl here we go oh i love it i love it i hate it it's short <laughs> wasn't that bad this could be a big moment <laughs> that was horrible <laughs> on to hole two Welcome to hole two, 250 feet. We have a rather strong tailwind here. Going with my banger again. I'm really trying to pronounce it right and I just don't know how to pronounce it differently. You got insecure. I did. 
banger. Banger. Got my banger E.T. here. <laughs> sound like E.T. <laughs> Let's try not to pronounce the G, but you got to in GT. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Alright, that's got to be parked. Surely I can't miss that one. Um, I think I'm going to try and force the backhand over. They have a tailwind, though. So, yeah, same, same idea. So bad, it came out of my hand flat. I might be able to jump up from there. That's discouraging, bro. When you just like try and execute something, and not only do you miss the line, but you just release a disc like on hyzer that you were trying to throw on hand hyzer. That's discouraging. There's a few more disappointing moments in your life. That is discouraging. That's always a shot I've struggled with. All right, I'm pretty pinched here. I could try and throw the forehand right at it, but there's really kind of a tree in my way. I think I'm gonna try and play the skip. I don't know if it can skip off the grass. This might look stupid, but it's, we'll see. All right, well, it did skip. It did skip. But completely wrong. It also looks stupid. I'm going to lose today. This is not good. <laughs> <laughs> it looks stupid. <laughs> <laughs> that looks stupid. All right, banger. Gone zip. Welcome to hole three. Beautiful hole three, 180 feet. If there is anything that has a chance of delivering a knockout one-two to Trevor's face, it is this hole with old trusty. All I gotta do is put it out there on a little bit of hyzer, watch her glide in, dead center chains, sprinting flying knee to the jaw. <laughs> Here we go. I feel pressure. Yeah, no kidding. <sighs> maybe that's maybe that's what I did to you. Now you just can feel pressure. Oh. Well, at least I didn't leave it short. Wow. Battery's blinking. <laughs> Early. Might get one more shot here. Alright, um, I frazzled him with the whole punch proposition. We all knew that was never coming into fruition. I've got my zone still. I need to get this one, or I may never get rid of it the whole rest of this round. A little short, oh, a little roll. It's like 20 feet. That could have been better. That's not great. Part of my life right here. I'm awful like the next eight holes, so I really got to get this to go somehow. Come on, Trevor. Be the ball. I completely pulled it. This guy is clapping. Every time. I still haven't dyed his discs yet from the last challenge. Every time he claps or does something like that, it just gets like more and more heinous what I'm gonna put on there. So, that's all I'll say on that matter. Well, it's not a bad bid. You knew that well before we got here. I thought here. we had one more. No. So this camera uses. I only have three batteries. And I lost the other two. <laughs> two in your bag, two in my yeah, bag. Yeah, like we cannot Poor be Connor's losing bag. batteries. Poor Connor here is gonna get flamed. And it's our fault. It's your fault. Yeah, right. <laughs> Those things are buried in the sand somewhere. <laughs> welcome to hole Back four. To Stop saying welcome to, by the way. You're acting like it's TPC Sawgrass and you're getting ready to introduce the signature hole 17. They know where we are. 235 feet, <laughs> straight off this cap, up the hill to the right. Old trusty. Bully him into submission. He's getting ready, to, he's getting more anger to punch me in the face when he, <laughs> when he makes his ace here. Oh, it's a flip. Just keep looking. Don't kick good. Okay. I mean, that's actually like a very good shot if you're playing smooth, the long basket. It was a smooth four, but game. we're not. All right. Well, this is like one of the last holes I have a really good shot before a while to get with this disc. I'm in trouble. I don't think this. Oh! Hate that. The way that thing just fell like a dead pheasant. <laughs> that really hurts. <laughs> Hardcore. No talking in throw. Hey. Okay, high key though. Oh, yeah, high key, that was on a rope. Just a little bit higher. Dang. Whew. 
Oh, come on! <laughs> All right, she's straight ahead. Mando left of this tree you see right ahead of us. Um, it's 255 feet. Old trusty. She's old, but she's not that trusty anymore. Throw on a little forehand. Okay. Hate to see it. <laughs> it wasn't intentional. Tension's building. <laughs> Grayson Allen back here. Are you right. trying to get a nine month suspension? Class A. This might be my last shot. I keep saying that, but I keep forgetting that there are four hand holes. I know the next one I can't get with this disc, so I really need to do something here. Come on, clutch up. That looks perfect. I might go in. Get your face ready to get punched. Ooh. You don't get to punch me. I know. That's not how this works. That was, that was lace. That was I might though. miss that though. Let's not put it past me. I am punching him in the face. <laughs> he just doesn't know it. I can never figure those things out. Like you'd think they'd want to like slowly pan to the right, but they don't. Then sometimes you think they want to just drop straight down, but those don't. I would have been so flustered. Oh my gosh. It wasn't even a hard putt. I, I would have been shook if that jumped out of the basket. Holy cow. That thing was like LeBron jumping out of there. All right. Hole six. Uh, I'm finally on my second disc, the sole. Actually a good one for this. Uh, we're going 250 feet, just over the hill. Kind of bends a little bit to the right. I just want to pop this up kind of flat, let it turn and drop. Pop and lock. Pop, lock, turn, drop. Yep. Hip hop, just like you said. Country five. All right, that's enough of that. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you piped it. Don't you care? That's perfect. That was glorious. If anything, that's like a little short, but it might be under the basket. All right. I used All to right. throw this disc on this hole, and I started throwing my soul. <laughs> <laughs> I just remembered. <laughs> It's a good one too. I never had. I haven't. I've had it since the Monita thing. All right, I'm getting excited. Make birdie. <laughs> oh, I got a wind bounce. Oh, there it goes. Cut roll. I need that cliff bar. Loser. <laughs> Don't touch my bag. Oh what wow. That was real sick. Let me get my sweet and salty honey oat cliff bar out of here. Smack it around with it. Peanut butter and honey with sea salt. Classy. What the heck was that, Hunter? It's Corey Smith. Every time, stay dark horse. Is that what you said last video? Yeah. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Alright, I just found the basket, finally. <laughs> Hold seven. It's like 200 feet. Um, you can take the high ante, but I now have my Hamas Wasp, which is very stable, so that's not going to happen. There's also this right gap that I could either go tomahawk or thumber. Thumber gives it more room to pan left, but I can't throw it as far as the overhand. I think I'm gonna go overhand. See what happens. See if I don't tear something. I usually do. Without fail. Oh my gosh, that was amazing. That was so lucky. It literally like just landed like a cut roller and cut rolled towards the basket. That was so Good news is, I, for lucky. you, I don't think I can use my arm the rest of the day. <laughs> that hurt. I'm, I'm just skill. throwing straight into the sun. I don't... If you throw a disc straight up and down towards the basket, your odds are pretty good. I've learned that in my career. That's all I used to do in college. People thought it was awesome. No. I just threw it hard towards the light. <laughs> yeah. I can't even see the tree I need to get over right in front of me. But I'm throwing it as a thumber because I think that's smarter. Yeah, we'll see. Ooh, what? Was that amazing too? I don't know. I couldn't see. Just... After I let it go, I looked at you for the reaction because I, I have no landing, idea what happened. And I thought I was going to slide way down the hill because it kind of landed at the basket. Huh. If it didn't slide, who knows? I, I can't even see. Old Trusty. That's the first birdie with Old Trusty on this channel in like six months. Solo birdie. 
getting scared that it's gonna bounce out now. All right, two left to go. I'm on my drivers now. This guy's getting buried. Pull eight, uphill, 165. Going Raptor forehand, flex. And uh, needless to say, these things will be flying off the shelves after uh, this basket flies off that hill. Come on. I let it go early, but <laughs> yeah, you did get, <laughs> did get up there. It is a putt. All right. This, if I birdie this hole, I'll catch back up to Trevor. We'll be nodded up going into Trevor. <laughs> he nodded up going to two very easy holes. It's important I get this one. And he slipped uh, out there. I knew early. that marble buzz was going. Oh, oh. good kick though. It's like 25 feet. <laughs> if I haven't sold this yet to you, watch me banging the straddle putt with it. Then decide. Buying them yet? Ah, uh, I got some. Ah, uh, I'm good actually. See this guy? Oh, I know you're waiting for me to walk back across. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Doesn't even matter. We're knotted up like two snakes in a freaking handbag. Let's go. Ah, jump the Superman punch. No, I wouldn't be able to get enough. See, the, the key about a punch is you gotta follow through the target. So you like you want to hit I'm here? About falling through you with that hitting heat right now. Where you worry about your punch. Oh, I'm just, I mean this is a 120 like, foot hole. I'm a jump putt with the heat dead center. Way right. I mean it's parked. It's at least that. Didn't ace it though. I'm gonna do the same with the raptor. I'm where is this? Uh, I look like it might, this might roll. It yeah. rolled uh, at least 80 feet, most likely. Oh, not bad. Scoop time. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> 175 feet. I still got my heat. We're gonna see if I can't. Replicate my inner John McBeth and ace this hole. That is going Kick so right. far Kick right. right. Did you say that's not going in after it hits the ground? From there. I oh. <laughs> I'm thinking ahead. All right. If, if I don't get this thing on Anheuser now, I might never. Forehand. Come on. I know there's a headwind. Feet or so. There's work to be done. Work to be done. Can't even see the basket. I think I'd throw it here though if I can. You're staying there for chance. Whoa. Caught me. Oh. The height was so good on that. As I was watching it, I was like, that for sure is about to go. I thought I did it. Wrapped it. Oh my gosh. It's tied to every single time. Jump out of the basket. One disc left. Z Force. Hole 11. 165 feet. Um, onto the signed Z Force. Um, I'm going to go overhand and try and let it pan through the gap and go in the basket. Here we go. I'm loving that. Oh, I got around. At least it got loving that. that. If I birdie this, I've got a chance. At least it got around that one tree. It was going to kick even further, but one good. I believe that I'm also going to try the overhand, though, because I've got a much flippier disc, which is, I think, what you want on this one. For as quick as you need this to pan, I would say. Seventy-five feet short. I think I threw that twenty feet. Yeah, you did not really try there. <laughs> I am one with the bush. Oh my gosh! Oh, oh that's beautiful. Oh, I'm so close. Are you? 
kidding me? <laughs> for the win, my straddle jump putt's been awful lately. This is time for you to wake up a little bit. No, it's still so bad. My timing is off. Oh. All right, hole 12, 140 feet. Um, I think I'm gonna try the little flex forehand to the right of this tree. Just a little finesse. Tailwind should help it a little bit. This should be it. I need to put them away here. Oh, I thought oh, you hit that first tree. Oh, oh, are you kidding kick. me? He had thrown that a mile and a half past the basket and I the knew, tree kicked him. To 10 I feet. knew it was going to be hard to control the sweep on that disc. For the run. So I've got to ace this. <laughs> if I ace this, not only do I win, but then I get to knock him out. <laughs> when you say it like that, <laughs> take this stuff out. Take this stuff out of context. People are like, "These guys are crazy." <laughs> yes. I win and I get to punch you in the face. <laughs> Prepare to die. Just watch out for that tree, though. It honestly is scary. That's well done. Oh, oh my word! That would have been electric. Dang. That would have been, that been cool. Too bad it didn't happen. Well, I was very close to doing several cool things in this video. Cut for the win. Kind of far, 15, 20 feet. See if I can clutch up. Ooh, almost too high. That's it, folks. Another dove. Safe to say that the era of hunter domination on this channel is past us. Thank goodness. Um, what do you have to say for yourself? You know, I don't have anything to say. I. I've let my fan base, the two of you in the comment section down. He broke this basket. I did too. not. This has been, look at, I mean, they fixed this with like little C clamps and it's just not. He broke the basket. It is not working here. I will say, a little behind the scenes action, the basket was like this towards Trevor's putt, seconds worth of putt. Trevor walks up, tips it this way. Yeah. I, His putt proceeds to hit right here. I double dog Would dare you banned. to try and find a PDGA rule that says if the basket is broken and crooked, you can't straighten it before you putt. Well, this probably wouldn't be a PDGA legal basket to begin with. So, so none of it even matters. Doesn't matter. We Thank were you guys about, for yeah, watching. There Hopefully was face you punching involved. None of I'm trying to close this out. I'm trying to close this out. Okay. Go on with your little win. <laughs> Go celebrate in the car. Unbelievable. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Check the link in the description below. Uh, comment down below what our punishment should be for future videos because um, I'm trying to tell, I'm trying to convince Trevor. The loser no, gets. Don't you say it on camera because then I have no choice. I'm trying to convince Trevor. Loser gets pepper sprayed. That's not happening. You're so. Crazy. He doesn't want to risk his vision. Uh, understandable. But if you have any comments or like ideas for what our punishment should be. Comment them down below. He should be pretty confident. You're on a three win streak. It doesn't matter. Second you put pepper spray on the line, you have such a like numb, a numbness to like what that pain would be like. The thing is like, it would suck. It'd be hilarious. And then I'd wake up the next day feeling fine. So. You sacrifice a whole 20, you're thinking of it in a 24 hour scheme like that. Yeah. I'm willing <laughs> to sacrifice 24 hours. I'm not gonna lose, so it doesn't matter. I'm willing to sacrifice your 24 hours. Yeah, and I'm willing to collect workers' calm when I can't come in because I'm blind. We do need to find a way around that. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see you in the next one.